In the 1950s, there were few choices for people with mental retardation or other developmental disabilities. Placement in state-run institutions was their only future, and this was considered a place to call home. In 1956, a group of five families and their friends saw a critical need for an environment that was homelike, a place where their children could be educated and trained. They wanted a place to call home that was caring, nurturing, and individualized. With perseverance and dedication to their children, they began renovation of rural property to what is now home to children and adults with developmental disabilities. Little City Foundation. Let's look back over the last 40 years at how Little City has become a place to call home for individuals with developmental disabilities. On October 1st, 1959, a dream becomes reality. Little City Foundation Child Care Institute opened its doors on 56 acres of farmland in Palatine, Illinois. With three homes and 16 children, the focus was on education and vocational training. In 1964, the Al Rosenstein Educational and Developmental Center was completed, offering a full educational curriculum including math, reading, science, music, and art. Between 1966 and the early 70s, one of the first vocational programs at Little City was a poultry farm, providing training and job opportunities for its adult residents. This program was a huge success, with people traveling many miles to purchase the fresh eggs from Little City. As a result, a restaurant was opened serving breakfast and was completely managed and operated by Little City residents. On July 7, 1974, the greenhouse began operation for the purpose of vocational training and employment for our blind residents. Through the use of touch and smell, the residents were able to grow and sell plants to the public. The greenhouse was another example of the creative ways in which Little City Foundation met the needs of people with developmental disabilities. Little City continued to be in the forefront of services to children and families with developmental disabilities with the addition of the Karen Cupsonet Recreation Center in 1978. Irvin S.E. Cupsonet dedicated the center in memory of their daughter Karen, a talented actress who died in 1963. The Cupsonets, together with the Variety Club Children's Charities, helped launch the Therapeutic Recreation Center, which is now the heart of Little City Foundation's recreational programming. The Recreation Center allows individuals a chance to participate in a wealth of choices in sports, games, and crafts. Little City Foundation saw its largest growth during the 1980s with additional services and programs. In 1981, with generous support from Sid and Betty Port, the Port Family Center program was created to help residents move into an apartment with little support from staff in order to maintain their independence. This program would help individuals transition from the child care center into adult living. The philosophy of this program goes beyond providing good homes, but providing homes where people can feel comfortable, independent, and secure in their environment. The Adult Vocational Service Center opened its doors in 1984 to create job opportunities for people who are unable to perform the tasks required in a community-based job situation. At the AVSC, people with developmental challenges can earn money while continuing to search for other meaningful job opportunities that meet their personal needs and life objectives. Little City's Media Arts Program came on the scene in 1985 with Project Vital which teaches people with developmental and other challenges to operate equipment at public access television studios. This program gave people the skills they need to produce, direct, edit, and perform in their own television programs, which were cable cast to the entire community and offered people with challenges the opportunity for high visibility in new social roles. Only two short years later, the Supported Employment Program was actualized. The main goal of this program is to create job opportunities in community-based environments. Having a job and doing it well can make a difference in anyone's life, 
This program gives individuals with developmental disabilities the opportunity to become productive, tax-paying members of society. Little City believes that children with developmental disabilities should live with their families whenever possible. In 1989, the Families One program was created to provide services in the home, which enables families to better care for their child and or adult with a developmental disability and allows the family to stay together in their natural home. The late 80s was also a time for further community integration for people with developmental disabilities. Little City saw the need for homes in the community and the CILA, known as the Community Integrated Living Arrangement, emerged as another way to offer personal choices to people with developmental disabilities. Staff members providing varying degrees of training, counseling, supervision, and assistance support people living in CILAs. In 1993, Little City recognized the need to serve children with special needs who required out-of-home placement due to abuse or neglect. Beginning that year, the foster care program took a holistic approach to providing services, focusing on the individual needs of the child. Dedicated staff members work with foster parents to create a nurturing, stable home environment until they can be reunited with their biological families, adopted, or integrated into the community as an adult. Believing strongly in the power of the arts to enhance our lives, as well as dispel myths about people with challenging conditions, Little City's Studio Arts Program was opened in 1994. This program nurtures the creative abilities of artists with developmental challenges, as well as providing meaningful employment opportunities, and assists in exhibiting participants' artwork locally, nationally, and internationally. Started in 1997, the Adoption Program recruits, licenses, and prepares families for adoption. Working carefully to match parents and children, the goal of the Adoption Program is to find loving and permanent homes for children who are developmentally disabled or considered at risk. During 2003, Little City Foundation received a grant from SBC to provide assistive technology to our residents. This allows the program participants to gain valuable computer skills and access to internet and email. As we move into the 21st century, the assistive technology program is another example of our commitment to provide progressive services to our children and adults. Since 1959, Little City has been providing vital services to children, adults, and families with developmental challenges. Our programs facilitate growth and independence in all aspects of people's lives. We offer nurturing homes to children and adults in our residential programs, find caring families in our adoption and foster care program, enable families to stay together in our Families One program, teach people new skills and assist in employment through our vocational program, and encourage personal growth through creative expression at our multidisciplinary art center. Little City Foundation will continue to help children and adults with mental retardation and other developmental challenges reach their full potential and live meaningful and happy lives with dignity and respect. A place called home. <laughs>